behind the panel on a motorbike. I don't know. We will take it to the track. Of course, private road, super early in the morning. Martin, the vlogger style. I think I got you on that error code, didn't I? Of course, private road, super early in the morning. That car, it's on a private road as well, so, um, yeah. What is causing them, okay? Now, have I have received error codes with the pedal commander? Do you want to know how super early it is? It creates a smile on my face every time and the bike it's it's really new it it has so much power and it opens up and and it actually learns the signal so, hi guys this is martin aka martin the vlogger and this channel is everything about riding fun and petrol habit and today today it is also about throttle response unit hmm. Nope, it's not a deja vu. I already did this type of video. The video before was called or was related to Pedal Commander. This thing, it's called Pedal Box and it's made in Germany. What's this video about is, we will try to find differences. And apart from price, there are some. Whoop. By the way, talking about comparison and this thing, I have learned after I have made the review, so I'm just adding it to my review. Uh, this pedal box it's going to be available not only for spider riders with 30 and 30 engines and for the rikers but also it's going to be available for spider riders with 998 engines so everyone who is having engine or basically a spider rs rss st or rt from 2010 the only condition is that you need to check if you have electronic throttle because there was a switch in 2010. If you do have it, this box is for you. And they said it's even more aggressive than for the F3. We will talk about error codes. Hmm, interesting, right? So we'll talk about error codes. I will do quick installation. We will do unboxing. Unboxing is not really interesting. Uh, and we will take it to the track. Of course, private road, super early in the morning. Martin the vlogger style. Guys, enough of this. I will tell you a little bit more about that. And now, let's get started. I think I got you on that error code, didn't I? But we will get there when I will be doing the installation. Now, I'm sorry a little bit for a mess, so many projects, so stay tuned. Diddy bag, proud father. Best bag ever, and actually I'm using it for my vlogging stuff. Anyway, so what's inside? I didn't, usually I, I have, have a look before I do these videos, but I didn't have really a time. I just saw this and actually the packaging with these units always like, I like it. It's, a, it's something like a Apple style, you know, like it's beautiful. And the unit, I like the look. Uh, I will tell you why it is not so important, but I like the look. It reminds me something of a, something from a Volvo car, the simplicity, you know. Um, almost forgot. <laughs> uh, if you would like to buy this unit, go to this website right over here. It's a German website. I think it's in English as well. Uh, the price is around 250 euros, including VAT. So without VAT, it's 220, something like that. And another important thing is, I have received this unit for free, but this is an honest review. I'm always doing honest reviews. I'll tell to everyone, whoever is sending me things, I'm writing to them, guys, it's gonna be honest, I don't care. So think twice before sending me anything for reviewing. Last not least, I will have it on my website. Uh, it's martindevlogger.com slash shop, the largest European shop for Canem Spider and Riker aftermarket parts. So yeah, but as I said, I will tell you good things and bad things, okay? Now, why I said the look is not really important and it's the same story as with the pedal commander. This thing is not waterproof, it's not water resistant. In general, it is water resistant. The whole thing, the whole casing is water resistant. It has special layer of a spray with kind of formula and it will cope up with the rain, it will cope up with water, it will cope up with dust. What we will not cope up with is this thing on the top. So if you will remove it, and this is what they told, it's aftermarket, and really it's like loosey. 
So there is a micro USB and they use it for programming this thing. Well, if I would be using this, I would probably glue it and probably I'll be risking it and put it on, on the bike and leave it there because I like to play around buttons. That's the reason actually why I have come up with Pedal Commander water resistant box, okay? Uh, so that's the thing. All right, but we will get to all of this later. Uh, what's included as well? Yeah, water, whatever. What is? Oh, you should probably put it inside and hook it, hook it somewhere behind the panel on the motorbike. I don't know. All right. Uh, some strings attached. Ooh, manual. Good. In German. Good. In English as well. All right. And what else? What's this? Okay, so you can put it somewhere using these things probably. All right, that's it. I just realized that I didn't tell you why the look is not really important. It's a little bit late in the night. Um, the thing is, because this is not water resistant, waterproof, whatever, uh, many of you will actually hide it uh, on the bike. So in a spider scenario, uh, it's gonna be under this panel on the side of the of where is the brake uh, on the Riker because they are working on the Riker unit. Um, it's gonna be somewhere I don't know. Uh, the thing is, uh, I was told so many times by the the actually the guys that have developed the map. Um, the only fragile thing towards the the leakage it's this thing. So what I would do, I would just play around, protect it super carefully. And, you know, I would, I would keep the unit on my bike because I like to play around the buttons. So what to do if you cannot play around the buttons and you would like to hide it? Of course, there is an app, same as with the Pedal Commander. So you can, you know, navigate around different modes and different sub setups. By sub setups, I mean like every mode, like CD or Sport or Sport Plus has additional few modes. Uh, to tweak it a little bit more. Now about the installation, it's super easy, but what's more important, we'll start to talk about error codes. Uh, about, about the installation, I think the most difficult part is to get this thing right over here. Uh, in case you would like to, you know, I'll, I will put it right over here on this clamp. By the way, this one is from La Monster, and in case you are in the US, I think this was one of the best upgrades, one top five upgrades definitely towards comfort I have done. Clamp that has so many options for rem mounts, even one on, on top. So I will use some 3M twin tape to put it like this. But it was super difficult to get it here. I needed to unmount these bolts and to play around and my big hands were not really suitable for that. By the way, have a look at this. This is the cover for ignition box. And yeah, I, I'm probably, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm just being an idiot to, to show you that, but I think it looks cool. Looks like carbon and it's just one prototype now. So many people has asked about it, but it's a little bit fragile. So yeah, anyway. Uh, so how it is with the, with the installation, um, there is only one, like option basically on the spider. You are on the side where is the brake pedal. You need to find the cable. There is only one probably correct cable. Don't worry, you don't have to be really, really worried. And all you have to do is connect them again, super straightforward. And once I do it, I will explain you the error code thing. Now towards the error codes and um, what it is all about. And maybe you think like, okay, I'm gonna have this on my shop and I'm gonna say whatever, uh, or I have received it for free, I'm gonna say whatever. Uh, trust me, it's not the, that thing, the error coding, what I'm gonna tell you, it's not really a sales thing. What will sell this thing is that it's much cheaper than a pedal commander for us in the Europe. For you in America, it might be like equal, 
uh, because of the shipping, because of customs, uh, you will end up paying more or less the same. Now about the, the error codes. Uh, with the Pedal Commander, and I will not say a bad thing about Pedal Commander, because Pedal Commander is one hell of a great upgrade. The, the video that I have done has become really popular because I'm laughing like an idiot. That was legit. I love it. Okay. Towards error codes and what caused what what is causing them. Okay. Now have I have received error codes with the pedal commander once once during the whole summer, and it was mainly because I was recording right it like you stole it three, and I was playing around the pedal commander way too much, and I was hitting the road super hard. Uh, respecting all the rules, of course, and um, I have received an error code, uh, then the limp home mode, but it was all fine. I turn off the bike, turn off the pedal commander, turn on, and everything was all fine. Now, I have asked guys, and why this thing is error code free, basically? Nothing is there for 100%, but they said 99.9%. Uh, because the the throttle is sending signals, okay? Uh, it's, it's measured in volts. I asked them to tell it to me in a, in a dummy way. So it's sending some signals in volts. And this thing, what I will do right now, we plug it in, and it's the same thing with the pedal commander. But with pedal commander, when I plugged it in, I immediately can go out and ride. This thing, uh, it needs to read the signal and it will adjust. And it's called perfect tune. So basically it will read the signal and it will adjust to, especially to your bike. Every bike sends a little bit tiny different amount of voltages. And this is actually what I was told it's causing for some of you, some of the users of the pedal commander, error codes. And when I read the forums, it's there, and I didn't understand why, because it was not really happening to me. Now I know it's because the throttle and these cables here, they have a different voltage, and that can create a trouble. Now the second thing, what creates a trouble, and why this should be really a troubleless or error codeless, it's because of the Sport Plus mode. Um, but I will tell it to you tomorrow. Now, let's play around uh, and let's, let me show you how it, how it learns uh, your throttle. Okay, so how this should work. You don't have to turn on the engine, just, you know, turn the ignition on. And now, hold plus and minus for at least three seconds. So one, two, three starts flashing okay nice and now i should be from the neutral position to the full throttle position slowly now it's full buddy it's full and release full and release so now the pedal box knows how much I have opened the thing and it actually learns the signal. So what was actually what is creating trouble on other error codes is that if the signal is way too strong for, for the unit, unit cannot cope up with. So it turns the, uh, the error code on, okay? So this was really, very simple. Now, it's all done. I'm just gonna put the bike together, prepare for tomorrow. But before I will hit the road, guys, in case you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, have the notifications on it. But more importantly, have a look at this 100K challenge. I'm gonna reveal it in April, but tell to your friends, family members, grandparents, whoever, to subscribe to my channel because Martin the Vlogger is chasing 100,000 subscribers. So I can do this. It's gonna be deadly. It's gonna be in the middle of nowhere. It's gonna be about a road. 
and the idiot is gonna travel there. It's gonna be absolutely sick. It's so sick that I have set up such a crazy goal. So guys, subscribe, tell to everyone. And now, now let's try it on the road. Do you wanna know how super early it is? This is how super early it is. Still, still nothing in there. Yeah, I wanted to say we got a saying in Slovak, so language window. Uh, or something like that. Which means the bird that wakes up early in the morning will jump further than the one that don't. Or something like that. More coffee. So the conditions are absolutely perfect. Private road, whatever speed you will see, it's not a real speed, it's just done speed. It's not me riding, neither the beast on the video, just for legal purposes. By condition, what I meant, have a look. It was raining during the night and it's super cold. It's a forest uphill road. So we're gonna have fun, definitely. You are on the helmet, you are right over there and you're gonna be right over here. That car, it's on the private road as well, so, um, yeah. And of course, the mic's gonna be in the helmet. Whoop, uh, it's me back home trying to edit video. And actually, guys, sometimes the things don't go the way that you plan. And the worst thing that can happen to a YouTuber uh, is that either you lose your video footage or two, you have your video footage, but your audio quality is absolutely terrible. And this is unfortunately what has happened to me. So the mic and the helmet is working, but it's not really, really good. So uh, we will do it this way. Uh, I will play the video and whenever there are parts that are completely not understandable, I will tell it to you. And it's no way I can go back to the track and redo the video. It's just because this was my first impression and you cannot repeat that. So, but anyway, Everywhere there are, there are some good things in a, in a bad things in general and every bad things has some positives so also I was able to process uh, all the feelings and I will be able to tell a little bit more so Let's let's start it uh, This is how the app looks of course you don't have to have app only if you have the telecom on the right over here So what it has it has it can be completely turned off so you have stock, you have city, you have sport, and you have sport plus. So the main difference, or first difference, is there is no EQ mode, and it, it has something to do with, with the German regulations. So they cannot really mess with the EQ because it's decreasing power, horsepower, whatever. I don't care. Now every mode has three sub modes to the plus and two to the minus. So again, small difference. Telecommander has four. This one has three. Of course. In Martin the Lord, we're gonna have Sport Plus Plus 3, so the most aggressive mode, and we'll turn this off. Now, I think this was still possible to understand. Um, the main difference between Pelabox and Pelicommander is that uh, Pelicommander has four modes, including EQ, but because German people and German guys are so much about TUV certification, whatever, they said they cannot implement uh, EQ mode. For Martin the Blogger, not problem at all. And also another difference is that um, Pedal Commander has uh, four sub modes to the plus and four sub modes to the minus in each city, Sport or Sport Plus or EQ, uh, where the pedal box has only three. And yeah, that's that's it kind of. Let's continue. Now look, now look on the on the floor what the bike does. Immediately when you hit the floor where you have no spoons there, that's something you do not have. If I turn this off, that's something you do not do not have. The bike don't go that fast, you know. But if I turn this on we have it, you know, you know, so that's, that's what the throttle response unit is about. Now this is very important. Many people don't understand what kind of upgrade this is. And what, like a long story short, 
is you are adjusting the sensitiveness of your throttle and you are not messing with with fuel map you are not messing with air intake map you are not messing with it of course with the eco flash or whatever you're just adjusting the sensitivity and boy i mean whoever loves or whoever would like to get a little bit more out from the from the spider you must have this kind of unit it's super affordable and i'm guaranteeing you and have a look on the continuing footage i'm guaranteeing you you will have a smile on your face for sure this is the heavy Now this part was dedicated to the to the second part of why error codes why not and the thing and the reason for that is basically how the the boxes are set up pedal commander it's set up more aggressively it goes and it unlocks the bike capabilities all the way up to 98 percent however pedal box guys they have several f3s at home and they they came with a with to the conclusion that if they overreach 95%, they've been some error code messages, and it's because of the bloody voltage. The tiny difference in a super high voltage that it sent or super low, I don't know, I, I'm not a technician, but they say, long story short, they will not set it up for more than 20, 95 because you can get some error, error codes and it's not worth it. Fair enough. All right, so next thing I have noticed is that when you have a fellow commander, it's set up so crazy that the score plus, plus four, it's almost impossible to use like this. So if we did it from the corner, I was really like dancing. Of course, I'm really bit used to these things now, but this is where the most new. So if you're going to have a clear aggressiveness for whatever reason, Pedal Commander is more aggressive. This is more like a smooth thing. But it's a good thing. Okay. Apart from me enjoying the road, you have spot probably a car passing by. Now the thing is, he must have the same permit as I did. Uh, so he will he was able to ride on this private road. Now what I'm about to say now is that the difference how the at least what, what I was having kind of impression and now I know you know for a couple of days I'm, I'm making this video and I know that I'm on a really on a thin ice with saying like what I do feel and what I will be you know riding with and and if I will tell you something better about pedal box and because I'm gonna have it on my shop it may sound that um, I'm, I'm promoting pedal box. No, pedal commander is a very good unit. I think I'm going to say it at the end of the video. But the difference what I have spotted is that the pedal box, it's set up by these guys in Germany. It's set up like, like in a smoother way. So my friend, um, my friend um, Joseph Golden, um, He's, he likes to do drag racing, so I think the pedal commander, it's much better for him because he goes on the drag and he hits the... Because he told me like he cannot turn, basically, so that's the reason why he's doing drag racing. Sorry, buddy. Uh, but this pedal box, is like when I hit it, it was like the power was there, but I was not shaking. I was not like jumping like a monkey. 
with the pedal commander when I was in a super aggressive mode. When I hit the throttle, it's set up so aggressively that basically it was almost impossible to control it. Where the pedal box set up, because we are in a Sport Plus, Plus 3, the maximum mode that you can be at, when I hit the throttle, I was still able to control it. Again, it might be bike to bike, how you, you know, even even how, how sensitive your throttle is, because you have that screw on the, on the side, so you might have it a little bit loose or maybe a little bit harder. It's also a, a difference maker, but for me personally, this is a really a difference. Like, apart from error coding, this is the second big difference that the pedal box has, and apart from that, that you can use it for RS and all 998 engines from 2010 up. And now I'm doing promotion. So, uh, this is the really a legendary track. And by the way, I just recorded a bonus video to this day. Uh, I have hit the other side of the road, it's just absolutely epic. And I listen to those birds singing, and then imagine RLS cat delete and RLS exhaust and sound of the beast. Epic. Now my personal point of view for us in Europe it doesn't make any economical sense to buy Pella Commander from US because you have to pay customs you have to pay expensive shipping uh, and the thing is plus minus the same for you guys in America who are watching um, same thing I mean those error codes as I told you honestly I have had only one situation some people are facing them more some less but it's all fine um, and again, you will have to face shipping and you will have to face uh, customs. Um, but in general, I would like really finish in case you, you enjoy the road, in case you would like to have that little bit tiny tweak of the performance extra from your bike, definitely go for the throttle response unit. It's just... It creates a smile on my face every time and the bike it's it's really new it it has so much power and it opens up and oh boy I have to hit the road again guys thank you very much for watching you can become patrons uh, in case you like what I do not only subscribing telling your grandparents about uh, my 100k challenge but you can become patreon from 199 supporting my channel so I can do a crazy stuff buy other things and you know do the reviews and now Remember, buy or don't buy, throttle response unit, do whatever makes you happy. Hit the road hard and always have fun.